I'm back with our coach, John McDermott, today, and today's topic is functional flexibility. Now, this is all about stretching, getting our muscles to stretch correctly and in time with each other and in conjunction with each other. So we're doing a gait analysis. John's gonna tell us all about this. What we do in function is we like to look to see how the body moves in all three planes of motion. So I'm gonna have Nick doing some kind of wild walking and the goal for me is to be able to see how his body responds to all those different things. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna have you do is as difficult as it is when you're watching somebody walk to tell them to walk normal, but try to walk normal for me, okay? Do your best. All right, what I'm looking for here is I'm looking to see as Nick is walking, how do the shoulders and the hips begin to talk to each other? What I'm gonna have him do next is I'm gonna ask him to do what we call a long stride gait. So you're actually gonna open your gait up uh, pretty significantly as you walk, okay? Good, and come on back. When he opens up the stride, I can look to see what's going on at the hips. I'm looking to see what's going on at the feet. And again, how well is it talking to the rest of the body and how well, well is the rest of the body talking to the particular areas. So what I'm gonna ask you to do now for me is go with what we call a short stride gait. So you're purposely trying to just stride real slow, just like that, or real narrow. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to go with what we call a wide gait, okay? So now you're gonna go wide way out here like that, okay? Sort of like we call like a diaper walk. And what that does for me is it takes the hips and puts them in what we call the frontal plane and it allows me to see how well can you get the hips to go through the frontal plane. You'll notice a huge difference for you on the left side versus the right as I'm, as I'm walking through and you can probably feel that as you're walking. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to cross over for me. So you're gonna take this gait pattern and begin to start crossing over, okay? And again, you can tell that the left goes over the right pretty easy, but then the right coming over the left, a lot more effort for you right? So as you were coming through, this position was pretty easy for you, but then trying to bring this leg around, which tells me that we got some tightness going on again in that left hip. What I'm going to ask you to do now for me is we're going to take a regular walk, but we're going to do something with the arms, okay? So I'm going to ask you as you walk to drive your arms in the frontal plane back and forth just like that, okay? And that'll show me how the upper body is talking to the lower body. I'm gonna ask you now to do exactly the opposite. So when the left leg comes over, you go that way. Good. And the last one we'll have you do is as you, as you step forward, I'm gonna have you rotate now your arms at shoulder height around the leg that you're, that you're stepping with. Good, so when you do something like that, it's easy for me to pick up some, some right shoulder tightness. Yeah. Can you feel that? <laughs> <laughs> so, so far, what did we sniff out? We sniffed out the right shoulder and the left hip, right? And the inability for these guys to do their job in certain planes of motion. Okay, you all right? <laughs> Definitely right shoulder. Don't worry, don't worry, we'll fix that. <laughs> like every week, John has been doing some very strange movements in the name of functionality, but I think he's picked up on a couple of things that we've highlighted before about me, my left hip and my right shoulder. So next week we're going to do the assessment and then the treatment. So remember to connect with us. I'm Nick Davey for KTV.